Hello everyone, this is my um, current scene board. It's a little bit different. What I did to it was add some layers of clay where I'm going to want my house to sit on the board. Um, then once I built it up high enough to have a couple steps made down here, I pushed down with the bottom layer of my house to place an indent on the side of the clay. So you might want to put a little bit of flour on the very bottom or on the very top around your edges just to keep it from sticking. And um, I will eventually glue down the bottom of my house, but not until uh, the scene is just about finished. So I built up that. And then what you see here is um, me continuing to work on the shape of the river. Generally speaking, it's going to come down through this little valley down here and um, I decided it would probably be too hard to brighten up any colors in the river if I didn't start with a neutral which is why I chose a lighter color. This is called Rhino Gray from Primo which is this one. It says Rhino Gray. Okay so what I'm gonna do from here is put a little bit of TLS where I want my river to be. And this is going to be the center of my river bed. And I'm putting it in the deepest parts of where my river is. So this is the translucent liquid Sculpey. And I know that I want my river to come off to the side at the bottom. So, in a second, I'm going to wipe my hands off. And I found something kind of interesting. Since I'm doing um, rock candies at the store, I found um, this interesting stuff. It is little glass shards, um, like crushed glass, to make a uh, decorator sand. And I kind of liked the color. It's like a deep kind of a blue. And so I thought I'd have that at the deepest points of my little river here. The TLS is just to get it to stick. Since I'm doing rock candy, I thought this crystally kind of nice dark blue, grayish blue would be kind of nice. And I will bake it. Hey there everyone. You saw me make my trees. Um, I'm continuing work on the landscape. And I am mixing half um, Translucent Primo with half of the um, dark suede color of Sculpey. And um, what I've done is make little cone shapes. I'll show you right now. So I make little raised areas that I smooth down. And then, if that's where I want a tree, I stick the tree deep inside of it to create a hole. And then when I bake it, when I'm almost completely done with the scene, then I will then stick in and glue the trees. Um, you can see two are standing up right here. So that's how the little trees are. Now to texture the ground, I am using a toothbrush to add texture and I'm pretty much just trying to pulverize it but what I'm going for here is um, crumbled Oreos is what I want to get the look of so I'll crumble um, 
I'm going to use a nutmeg grinder with some clay and sprinkle it over over the ground to help um, build up texture more like a rich soil and then as we go along too I'm trying to build up um, the base of where the river is flowing along the edges I'll leave a little area open but this is also to help keep you know resin from pouring out when I add the resin over the river so once I build up around all where I want to I will texture the rest of this and put it in the oven and bake it not with the trees the trees are not in when it bakes which is why I create the little holes for them to glue in later so um, I've showed you the mechanics I'll go ahead and continue building up my little river bed making sure I have holes wherever I want the trees and I will return to you when I'm ready to start adding candies and do the next step of the of the landscape here.